Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. I am going to be doing the foundation wardrobe tag. So if you want to see what that is all about, then just keep watching. So this is actually a really fun tag that my friend here on YouTube, Charlotte Holdcroft, she created and it is so fun. I am loving these prompt kind of tags that we have going on. So the whole premise of this tag is that you are given 10 different occasions and you pick the foundation that best fits for that occasion. So I'm going to link you down to her video down below. Make sure you check it out. Thank you, Charlotte, for coming up with this because I had a blast picking out these foundations. So number one, the first occasion is date night evening event. When I thought of that, I thought of going out for dinner or a movie or both. I find that when I get oily, it really does happen at night. <laughs> I don't know why. I wanted something that was going to hold up. wasn't extremely heavy, but definitely gave you some coverage and was comfortable on the skin so for me that was definitely the Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation this foundation is bomb it is so lightweight on the skin and that's a big complaint I have about wearing foundations in the evening I really can't stand when they're too ick or I can feel them on my skin this is not only a really lightweight foundation it does give you a nice medium coverage you can build it up a little bit in certain spots you can't build it up to a full coverage but this definitely gives me enough coverage it photographs beautifully it looks good during the night time and it's just a really comfortable, good coverage. Makes your skin look really beautiful. Foundation, trying hard, but not trying too, too hard. Looking so Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I wear mine in the shade 4.5. So the second occasion that we have is errands. If you're just running out of the house, like you just want a little bit of a pick-me-up, you're not necessarily looking to do a full face of makeup, but you want something. And for that, I chose the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. This is also what Charlotte chose, and that should tell you how good this is. This is one of my favorite kind of throw on foundations. It really isn't a foundation. It's a tinted moisturizer. It gives you little to almost no coverage, but it does just enough to make your skin look a little bit more plump and a little bit more even. And you just feel a little bit better about yourself when you wear this. And I love the glow that this gives and it gives you a little bit of SPF. If your skin's feeling a little bit dull or dry, this kind of gives it that pick me up. So I really love this tinted moisturizer. This is one of my favorites. And I felt like I could have put this in multiple categories, but I tried not to repeat, but I absolutely love this. I have mine in the shade 3N1 Sand. The next occasion that we have is Workday Foundation. So everybody's pick is going to be different for this, which I think is really cool, kind of depending on what you do. I am a physical education and health teacher. When I'm not in quarantine, I am outside in the heat all day with all of my classes. And if I'm not, I'm in a building and I'm still moving around constantly on my feet all day. So I want something lightweight that's just going to kind of even my skin tone but also wear throughout the long hours that I'm out. And for that, for me, it's the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powder Foundation. I love this. I have mine in the shade R330. This is my go-to powder foundation. It really evens out the skin. As your oils sink into the powder, it almost turns it into not a liquid foundation, but it becomes more skin light and less so powdery. At the end of the day, I don't look bad. I don't look cakey. I look like I still have a little bit of coverage and it doesn't bother me all day. I don't feel it on my skin because it is a powder powder and it actually applies a good amount of coverage given the fact that it's a powder. I really enjoy it. It evens out my skin and it really works well throughout my workday with me. The fourth occasion that we have is a wedding. I picked a foundation that I personally will probably be wearing to my own wedding because I love it but I also wore this to my cousin's wedding because whatever foundation you wear to a wedding you want to make sure it's going to last you a long time. It's going to look good in any lighting. You know if it starts off with an outdoor ceremony and then you work your way into to the reception and the after party, which is all late at night. It needs to look good in all lightings, all settings, daylight, moonlight, outside, inside, every lighting it has to look good. In photography, it must look good. It must not have a flashback. And for that, it is the Dior Air Flash Foundation for me. This is probably my favorite foundation. I just think it looks the best on my skin out of any other foundation in my collection. It wears beautifully. It looks good no matter where or when you are wearing it. It is a special occasion foundation though. That's for sure. It is more pricey. Be prepared for that. For me, it's worth every penny. This is my special occasion wedding foundation. I have mine in the shade 300. My favorite way to apply it is sometimes I just like to directly spray my face. It will get in your hair that way, but if you don't want to do that, get a sponge, spray it on the sponge, pack it in. Really, I feel like this gives an airbrush finish to my skin that none of my other foundations give me. The next occasion, number five, is clubbing. I'm only 
24, but it has been a long time since I have gone clubbing. I had to think back to my college days and I was like, what foundations did I wear? And instantly, the foundation that I picked, it's perfect. You want something with coverage because you want to look good. You also want it to last because you're out, you're dancing, you're hot, you're sweaty, there's all these people around you. So you want to make sure it's you're going to look good. Like you're not going to look as much of a hot mess because of your foundation. You want to make sure you have coverage. You want to make sure it photographs well, it doesn't transfer. And for that, immediately I thought of the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place makeup. This is what I wore in college as well. This stuff is bulletproof for the amount of coverage that you're given. I love this. It's not going to go anywhere. It's going to look okay at the end of the night. It's going to work well with your sweat. It is so good. Any time of day, if you're out in the hot summer sun and you want coverage, this is a way to go. And I don't know, for me, when I go clubbing or go out at night, I don't really care if my foundation feels really heavy. I want it to just look good. And this looks really good on the skin and it's going to last you all night. So I absolutely love this. I have mine in the shade 2W1 Dawn. This is a staple cult favorite foundation for a reason because it's going to work and it's going to last. The next occasion is gym slash exercise. Guys, I cannot condone wearing makeup while exercising and working out. I don't do it. I've never done it. I never will do it. I have very sensitive skin and any sort of foundation seeping into my pores is going to cause an irritation and cause me to get zits. I will never ever work out with any type of makeup on. So I passed on this one. I didn't pick anything out. It's not good for your skin. And I know people do it all the time, but my sensitive acne prone skin, that's a recipe for disaster. That and sleeping with makeup on, I am asking for a bruising. Number seven is a festival. So an outside event, the sun's going to be hitting you. You're going to be hot. You're going to be sweaty. You're going to get wet. You're going to get dirty. For me, if I know that's happening most of the time, I probably won't put any foundation on or I'll put just a little bit of powder. But you know what? If you want to look cute, most of the time, I'd rather just start the day off looking cute. And if I look a hot mess at the end of the day, if everybody else does, what does it matter? For me, I ended up choosing the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I have mine in the shade, well, I mix light and medium. So I mix two shades. And the reason I chose this is because you're going to look good at the beginning of the day. It does add some coverage. You can build it up for more. For me, on this occasion, I would probably try to do as light of a layer as possible so that it doesn't melt off my face and so you don't look as horrible at the end of the day. And also, of course, this has SPF 50. For me, my biggest concern in this was the sun. So I wanted a little bit of coverage to make everything look more even and I wanted sunscreen. So that really does handle this. I would say if you want the full coverage, like you want to look good, Good. go with the Estee Lauder double wear that would be my go-to but for me and what I would be comfortable with I would just start off with something light and it's the kind of product where after it kind of fades away or you sweat it off you don't look horrible so that's why I would go for this number eight is everyday foundation there's a few foundations that I was toggling between because I have a large number of everyday foundations that I love but ultimately I wanted to go for something that I love that I've worn every day for years and I prefer a more medium coverage I have drier skin and I just absolutely love the makeup for Ever Ultra HD foundation. I have this in R330. This is the makeup that I'm wearing on my skin right now. It provides the perfect medium coverage to the skin. It's really reliable. It's going to look good wherever you wear it to. Whenever you choose to wear it, it's going to last you a decent amount of time. Your skin just always looks better when you wear this foundation. It's really a oldie but a goodie. Like you can still see my freckles and a little bit of acne scarring underneath, but that doesn't bother me. My complexion is overall much more even and much more pretty. I like the skin-like finish that it gives and for me this is just a really great easy to use everyday foundation. I know it's going to work every time I grab for it so I like this guy a lot. Number nine is a pool party and I was looking I was like do I have a waterproof foundation that I would want to wear but honestly for me this is what I would do. I prefer a stick foundation for a pool party and you don't even need to go in the pool like I'm thinking the sun's coming you just want to even out your skin a little bit. First of all make sure you put your sunscreen on but if you just want to even your skin out, I personally for a pool party would choose a stick foundation because it's easy to wipe away if I want to get in the pool or even if you get in a pool, it's not that big of a deal if it comes off, you're not wiping off a mask. So I would put a little bit of a stick foundation on on the areas that I want to even, which for me would be the cheeks, kind of blend it out a little bit and that would be my pool party foundation. The foundation stick that I would go for is the Tom Ford Traceless Foundation Stick. This is just super easy to blend into the skin. It looks very skin light. So if you're not doing a full mask layer, 
It's going to be relatively traceless on your skin. You only put it on certain areas of the skin that you need. I love this. This looks so skin-like on the skin. It spreads really easily and you really have control of how much you put on. If you just put kind of a dot on your cheeks and blend it out a little bit, you're going to get a very minimal amount of coverage. So this is what I personally would wear to a pool party. Number 10, your most beautiful foundation. The foundation that you feel the most beautiful in, that your skin just looks flawless, amazingness, and you are going to take selfies whenever you wear that foundation. I will admit, it's a mixture between two. Like I said, I love my Dior Air Flash for that, but this liquid foundation, if I want a little bit more coverage, a little bit more thickness on my skin to really perfect it, that is the La Mer, the Soft Fluid Foundation. This is incredible. If you ask me, this is almost like the Dior in liquid foundation, except a little bit more thick, but I love the way that this looks on my skin. It looks airbrushed. My skin looks completely flawless without it being full, full coverage. There's something about the finish on this skin that's so natural and so perfecting that I love. This is such an expensive foundation. It's so good. This makes me feel so beautiful in my skin. Like I have flawless skin. I've never had acne a day in my life. I love this foundation a lot. I would wear this every day if it wasn't so much money, but it is so good, you guys. Highly recommend this foundation. It is worth every penny. So that was the last occasion for this foundation wardrobe tag. Really, really fun. Even if you don't have a YouTube channel, answer the prompts down below. You will have so much fun digging through your foundation drawer to figure out what's the best foundation for each category. So thank you so much, Charlotte, for coming up with these questions. Questions. If you have a YouTube channel, make sure you do this tag. And it also was really fun to kind of dig out some foundations I hadn't used in a while. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I hope you take the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.